Hey there, welcome to the Spider News. Today's headlines are PMLN calls for immediate arrest of Hassan Niazi, resumption of pick operations. PMLN spokesperson Meredith Morangzeb on Friday called for the immediate arrest of Prime Minister Imran Khan's nephew Hassan Niazi for his involvement in the attack by lawyers on Punjab Institute of Cardiology, PIC, in Lahore earlier this week. Aurangzeb also urged the Punjab government to allow PIC, which has been sealed, to resume its operations. They said that the police raided the residence of Imran Khan's nephew, but he was not found. There is no case registered against Hassan Niazi despite his clear involvement in the incident. He must be arrested immediately. The incident must be thoroughly probed and the hospital unsealed, said Aurangzeb. People from all over the country would go to that hospital, and now because of this incompetent, unqualified government, it lies sealed. The PMLN leader lashed out at the PTI-led government for seeming helpless in the aftermath of the attack. We witnessed a complete collapse of the Punjab government. Those who used to challenge the writ of the state in 2014, who smashed open the heads of police officers at Dechok, we asked them. Where was the Punjab government that day? They were told that the lawyers were walking to the hospital that day. Niazi, on the day of the attack, had taken to Twitter to condemn his own self, while reacting to footage of an eyewitness, describing the harassment of patients that took place, including his sister, whose oxygen mask was taken off and she died. After watching this clip I feel ashamed of myself. This is murder my support and protest was limited to initiation of legal action against the concerned doctors. I only stand for peaceful protests, he wrote. It's a sad day, and I condemn my own self for supporting this protest now. Punjab Institute of Cardiology Emergency Ward to reopen Friday night. The Punjab Institute of Cardiology's emergency ward will be reopened Friday night around 8 p.m. The hospital was closed after it was attacked by lawyers on Wednesday. The protesters beat up doctors, destroyed parts of the hospital, and interfered with the care of patients. As a result, three patients died. The emergency ward will be reopened tonight after the destroyed machinery, furniture and other items are replaced. Only a few patients in the cardiac care unit, CCU, are still being treated. The CCU is a hospital ward specialized in the care of patients with severe cardiac conditions that require continuous monitoring and treatment. Eight critical patients were shifted to the North Medical Ward of Mayo Hospital, and 10 were admitted to the cardiac ward at Jinnah Hospital. Other patients were also referred to Services Hospital and Sheikh Zayed Hospital. The PIC is the biggest cardiac hospital in Punjab. Due to its closure, hundreds of cardiac patients had to turn around and go back home without seeing a doctor on Thursday and Friday. The rangers and police have been stationed outside the hospital in the aftermath of the attack. Doctors and paramedical staff had also staged pre Modi led India moving systematically with Hindu supremacist agenda. PM. Prime Minister Imran Khan on Thursday said India had been moving systematically with its Hindu supremacist agenda under its premier, Narendra Modi. Imran Khan took to Twitter and wrote, starting with illegal annexation and continuing siege of occupied Jammu and Kashmir, IOJK then stripping two million Indian Muslims in Assam of citizenship, setting up internment camps, now the passage of citizenship amendment law, all this accompanied by mob lynchings of Muslims and other minorities in India. Imran Khan said New Delhi had now passed the citizenship amendment law, following illegally annexing and continuing siege of occupied Kashmir, and stripping two million Indian Muslims in Assam of citizenship. He said India had also set up internment camps in Assam. The Prime Minister said this is accompanied by mob lynching of Muslims and other minorities in India. He reminded that the appeasement of the genocidal supremacist agenda of Nazi Germany eventually led to World War II. World must realize, as appeasement of the genocidal supremacist agenda of Nazi Germany eventually led to World War II, Modi's Hindu supremacist agenda, accompanied by threats to Pakistan under a nuclear overhang, will lead to massive bloodshed and far-reaching consequences for the world, PM Khan tweeted. The Prime Minister warned that Modi's Hindu supremacist agenda, accompanied by threats to Pakistan under a nuclear overhang, would lead to massive bloodshed and far-reaching consequences for the world. He said just like Nazis Germany, dissent had been marginalized in Modi's India. He said the world must realize and step in before it was too late. As in Nazi Germany, in Modi's India dissent has been marginalized, and the world must step in before it is too late, to counter this Hindu supremacist agenda of Modi's India threatening bloodshed and war, he said. 13 killed in Kila Safula after coach's collision with oil-carrying pickup. At least 13 people were killed after a passenger coach collided with a pickup truck carrying oil in Balochistan's Kila Safula district. 
Deputy Commissioner, D.C., Kila Safula Atikshawani, said that a passenger coach traveling from Daraghazi Khan collided with a fast-moving pickup truck carrying oil in the early hours of Friday in the district's kansas Matarzai area. A loud explosion was reported as soon as the collision occurred, added the official. Shawani said that 13 people died in the accident, while one person survived after jumping out of the bus. The D.C. said that the passengers killed in the accident hailed from Daraghazi Khan, Lorelai and Quetta. He added that the bodies of the deceased are being transferred to Quetta for DNA testing. Pakistan wants strong ties with France both at bilateral EU levels. President. The president stressed that there existed immense scope of investment in Pakistan due to its friendly policies. The president highlighted that 100,000 strong Pakistani diaspora in France was a bridge to promote people-to-people -people contacts. He also said that climate change was a serious global issue, and in this regard, France was offering special scholarships. Islamabad. President Rai Arif Alvi on Friday said Pakistan desired to strengthen economic cooperation with France, both at bilateral level and in context of European Union. Talking to French Ambassador Marc Barity at the Awani Sadr, the president stressed that there existed immense scope of investment in Pakistan due to its friendly policies. President Alvi expressed satisfaction over the high-level contacts between the leadership of the two countries and also the parliamentary friendship groups, which played an important role in strengthening bilateral relations. On India's Controversial Citizenship Amendment Act bill, the president termed it a defacement of the proclaimed Indian secularism, which had put minorities, especially Muslims, at a serious risk. He emphasized that occupied Kashmir was under complete lockdown, where all civic liberties of the Kashmiri people had been suspended, and they were being subjected to brutal molestation, lynching and imprisonment. Taking stock of the bleak plight of Kashmiri people, he hoped that France would play its rightful role in alleviating the suffering of the Kashmiri people by urging India to stop human rights violations in Kashmir. The president highlighted that 100,000 strong Pakistani diaspora in France was a bridge to promote people-to-people -people contacts. He also highlighted Pakistan's huge tourism potential with rich culture, which he said must be tapped by the French people. The president said Pakistan was one of the countries most vulnerable to climate change, despite having a small carbon footprint, and stressed international collaboration to mitigate its serious consequences. On the Kashmir issue, the ambassador said France had a clear policy that human rights must be protected at all costs. He also said that climate change was a serious global issue, and in this regard, France was offering special scholarships. He also Thanks for watching. If you like this videos, then subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more latest news updates. Stay tuned and peace.